The way that Cool House came to be was making cookies and ice cream and naming the combinations after architects to make architecture fun and accessible and comforting with something like ice cream. I would bring little samples of ice cream and cookies to work. My colleagues suggested I sign up for this craft fair around the holidays. So we had a tabletop and sold the first Cool House ice cream sandwiches there. And my coworkers were just obsessed. People were coming back for two and three sandwiches. And we could see there was something very magical about this product. It was catching on instantly. People loved the architecture references and also the unique flavor. And I just knew, wow, if people are responding like this and I've barely even gotten started. I think I really have something here. So what we could get our money together to do was to get a truck. We found a beat up postal van for a few thousand dollars, something we could afford. And we went out to Palmdale, checked it out, and actually had the truck towed to my business partner's mom's house in LA because it wouldn't even drive. When we first started, there was one truck. Now we actually have 10 nationally. We have five in LA, two in Austin, one in Dallas, and two in New York. The scariest part for me for starting a business was all the kind of people interactions you know you're gonna have to have that may be tough and people are gonna try to just, you know, talk you out of it and tell you it's not gonna work, but that's how the biggest uh, dreams become the biggest successes, is that they, they take a risk and they do something against the grain. When you have a dream, when you have a vision of what you want to achieve, I think you just have no other option but to go for it. For me, that was Cool House. I'm Natasha Case, and I trusted LegalZoom to help me start Cool House.